Today, November 25th, 2021, the BC Salmon Farmers Association launched a website saying my information is wrong. The taking salmon farms out of the Discovery Islands this spring made no difference at all to the health of young wild salmon. They say that independent data found sea lice levels were low last year and this year, that there's no problem with the farms. And they called me an activist. Okay, there's four things anyone who cares about wild salmon on the BC coast should know about. Number one, the data they are using is not independent. They paid mainstream biological consulting for it. Two, sure, I'm an activist, but I've also published my science on the impact of sea lice in the top scientific journals in the world. So if the salmon farmers really don't believe my work, they should explain that to the journals, not on a website. Mainstream biological consulting, who was paid by the BC Salmon Farmers Association to count sea lice, uses social media to slander me. This is not professional. Four, when you really look at the data, we both saw the same thing. There were far more sea lice in 2020 than in 2021 when the salmon farms were removed. Next summer, we will hear directly from the fish when we see how many pink salmon return. And for you salmon farmers, you would do so much better to take an honest approach and try to clean up rather than allow this kind of nonsense to drag your industry down.